So let's move further. So now we will be posting uh, the actual data to our Mongo database. So let's see how we can do this. So I'll get rid of this, right? Now I need to require Mongoose, M O N G W S E Mongoose equal to R E Q I R E require or not this R E Q U I R E require and Mongoose. And we will be making use of our user model, right? So I'll here yeah, write const user and to use that model again we can make use of this mongoose dot model and the name of that model that is user right yeah you can see that in this user we have given this a user right so yeah make sure the name is same right here and here right it has a capital u okay save it now we can use this user model right and here we can attach or we can use a method that is find one find one right here i'll be writing email so we'll be finding a user with the email with the email which we are getting from our front end right so we are querying our database with the key email uh, which value and the value of that is equal to which we are getting right so we are finding the user in our database with the email right if now here we can chain on then right i'll explain you code right just wait for few seconds i'll explain you what this code is doing here we will be getting getting a saved user right and here if we have got saved user then we will throw an error so i can copy this control c control v and here i can write error and that is user a l r e a already e x i s exist with that email right okay so we are querying in our uh, with our database and we are finding uh, with this email a uh, user with the email if we got that user with the email right if we got that user with the email right so we are throwing an error right that user already exists with that email now else we can save that data right so we can save the data to the to the database right so for that i can make a const user right so we what all fields we will be saving so i'll here write a new and the user model right and in here we can write all the fields which we are going to store right so we'll be going to, we'll be storing email in our database and this email will be equal to this email which we are receiving so email will be equal to email and again you can see this name key and the name both are same so i can just condense it down to just email right here i'll be storing a paws password as well and i'll be storing name as well like so now in order to save this we can call we can call this uh, save method from user so i can call user dot save like so and if the user is successfully saved we can chain on dot then right and then here we will be getting user right and we can response we can send a json response uh, with a message saved s u double s u double c e double s f u double s successfully right or we can if we got an error so we can chain on the catch blocks c a t c h catch and it will have an error right and for now we can just console dot log that error if we got some error right console like so and uh, we can chain on the catch block with this then also right so where is it it is ending right okay so here we can chain on another another then right or oh, another catch dot c a i think not here i think here right yeah here i can add dot 
catch right so this is basically an ending for our route right this is an ending for our route so yeah this one right okay catch and error console.log the error like so okay so i think we should test this right so let's save this right and we will be going to the postman we will be uh, writing here password 1 2 3 4 5 and i will click on the send and i will wait for a response and here you can see it is show, showing saved successfully now let's go to our mongo database right uh, let's close this and here click on this collection and it's loading so here we can see we have this user inside this user we have this name password and email password and name oh so we have successfully saved user onto our database so this was beautiful isn't it so this was amazing right? this was a fun to do right but there is a little issue there is a little issue here we can see the password of that user oh my god so if someone got access to our database then they can see the user credentials they can see the password because we have stored this password in a plain text so this is a big issue right this is a big issue we should never store the password in this plain text right so in the next video we will be learning how we can hash the password and we can save the hash password in the database so i'll see you guys in the very next video